Stampin' Friends and welcome! This is Dee Osborne and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we are going to make this super cute Halloween card. I love Halloween. It's one of my favorite times of the year and when I saw this set I thought, oh I have to have that. And so I have been dying to use it. I finally got a chance to do it and this is what I what I made so let me show you how I did it so if you like this video as you go along please like share and subscribe give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment I love getting comments and I will comment back to anyone who comments to me so let me show you how I did this you're gonna need quite a few things um, to start out with you need the bewitching bundle it comes with a stamp set and it comes with the punch that cuts out the hat um, and it's got the feet and the um, spider and then I also paired it with a retired uh, stamp set bundle from a few years ago called Cauldron Bubble and this was another one of my favorite stamp sets and we're going to use the broom and the cat and the sentiment Okay, so um, the first thing that you're going to need, let's push this off to the side so we can get busy making this card. So we're going to get a piece of black card stock, cut it eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and we're going to get a piece of white card stock, cut at five and a quarter by four, and we're going to glue that to the inside. And that's where we're going to write our message to whoever we're going to send this. Halloween card too. You can send it to a grandchild or a niece or a nephew or a friend, anybody. It's perfect for anybody. So we're going to do that and then we're going to get our bone folder and we're going to give this a nice crisp fold so that it lays nice and flat. Okay. All right. Then we're going to get some gingham cottage paper it's in the new mini um, that's good until the end of this year and this is going to be cut at five and a half by three and three quarters i wanted a little bit of edge on there so uh, we're just going to glue that down it's going to glue that down And I really liked this uh, black and white, or black and white, <laughs> black and orange paper. I thought it was very, I don't know, Halloween. As soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, Halloween. Going to use that for Halloween for sure. All right, so you get that down. And then you're going to get some granny apple green. And you're going to get a fairly large scrap of it because you're going to need to cut a circle. And I cut this um, with the stylus shapes um, die. Okay, it's got the stitching edge, the stitched edge. So I cut that. And then out of the cauldron dies um, and stamp set, I stamped the broom. And then I cut it out with the broom die. So you have that. And then just with a piece of black scrap, I got the, the little cat, the Halloween cat from the cauldron dies and I cut out a cat. Okay, so you're going to need those things um, and you'll need a little scrap to stamp your sentiment. So you'll need that as well. Okay, so let's talk about how I did this element. Okay, so you're going to, for that you're going to need a, the Stamparatus. And so I took the uh, hat and the feet from the uh, Bewitching stamp set and I put it on the Stamparatus and you have to think about this hat on this punch is on there it's not completely straight if you look it's kind of tilted so you may have to get like a piece of uh, scrap paper or um, printer paper or something like that and play around with your placement of the hat so that it makes it easy for you to cut it out so I did it so that it's um, you know it's got the on the, from the edge of the paper it's going to line up perfectly um, with the punch 
Okay, and so I place those on there. And the reason you need the Stamparatus is because this is all going to stamp black, and you're going to have to stamp that. At least I had to stamp that several times to get a nice black image. So you put your stamp on there and then hold it down with the magnet and you're going to ink it up <clears throat> with memento ink. And you're just going to, you know, ink it up. And you're going to have to do this, like I said, several times because um, it's just not going to make a nice crisp image the first time. And you want a nice, you want all the black filled in. You don't want it to be, um, you know, partially stamped like that. See how it's not filled in? So, uh, you know, maybe you might have to do it three or four times. You may be able to get by with just two or three times. But just keep inking and stamping and inking and stamping um, until you get it all... Ooh, till you get it as black as you want it. And like I said, it's going to take you a few times. See, I'm almost there, but I, I need a little more. So we're going to do the hat probably one more time. Um, and the thing about this Stamparatus is that it, um, it allows you to restamp in the exact same place. So if you don't have a Stamparatus, it is a wonderful tool, especially when you need to do things like this. Um, or if you want to make the image, move the image down and have it perfectly spaced, it's great for that too. So this is a wonderful tool. All right, my hat looks pretty good. Not quite done with the boots. I've got a little spot right there, so I want to get that. And I'm going to keep doing the hat. Doesn't hurt to, you know, keep doing the hat. So um, just keep inking that up and stamping it down till you get it exactly how you want it. I'm going to hold that and let the ink soak in real good because that's the toe that's not cooperating with me. There we go. Look how beautiful that is. Now I have a nice black, solid black, perfect little image. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put my, I'm going to click, come back and clean my stamps and put the Stamparatus away. And now I can put my hat in here. Um, I have a little bit too much um, paper here. My hat doesn't quite reach, so I'm just going to come over here and trim that down. Um, so that my hat fits in there nicely. There we go. And once you get the hat in there, you have to turn it, kind of place it just where you want it. When you get it just exactly perfect, then you stamp, then you pop it out. Isn't that nice? Isn't that awesome? All right, so then for the feet, you're going to have to fussy cut those out. So I'm going to do that and um, and then we'll we'll go from there. So I'm probably going to cut this off camera, but um, you know, you want to cut them separately. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started and then we'll finish it up. I'll finish it up off camera. So you just turn your paper and cut. Okay? All right, so I'm going to go cut that. Okay, I am almost done cutting these out, and I just wanted to show you something that I do to make it a little bit easier when I go to cut them apart. I cut this part out first, and that way I have another boot to hang on to. And then this part's easy because it's a straight line. So I just cut straight down and then straight across. And then same thing with this one. I'm just going to cut in and straight up. And then I have my two boots cut out. So now I can color. And for the colors, I'm going to use Stampin' Blend's Dark Highland Heather, Dark Pumpkin Pie, 
and light granny apple green. Okay, so I'm going to do the lowest stripe in granny apple green. Of course, you can get creative and do whatever you want. Um, and I'm going to um, color some of the little dots on the hat granny apple green as well. That's, that's light granny apple green. And then I've got the dark pumpkin pie. And I did the uh, buckles in pumpkin pie. And the middle stripe. Okay. Right, and then I did some of the little dots in pumpkin, dark pumpkin pie as well. Okay, and then lastly I used the dark Highland Heather and I filled in the other dots. And not the not the uh, hat, um, br not brim, but the, you know across the hat. I don't know what you call that. Uh, the decoration across the hat. I don't know. We're gonna do something else with that. And then this last top stripe here. Okay. And for this band, that's what it's called. That goes across. Um, the, the middle of the hat. I got the glitter washi tape. It's from the it's in the new mini. And these colors are awesome. I love them. And I used the green and the purple. And let's see, let me look in the catalog and see what those colors actually are. They are this is old olive and this is Highland Heather. And then you have black and pumpkin pie as well. <clears throat> so I just took it and I put it across the bottom like this so that oops so that you couldn't see um, any of that band. Make sure you get it straight. Okay. And it's okay if it overlaps the edges. That's okay because we're going to trim it. Okay. So you put it on there, just trim that off. Then you're going to turn it over and you're going to use the back of the hat as your guide to trim it off. Okay. Use the back of the hat as your guide. All right, then I took the old olive, the green, and I think I'm gonna to have to reposition that just a little bit because I can see um, I can see the brim of the, the the not brim the band of the hat. So I'm gonna peel that down just a little bit. Oops. There we go. And then if you need to retrim, just turn it over and trim that. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to use the green and I'm going to go across the top with it. Okay. Then I'm going to turn it over. Oops. <laughs> And I'm going to trim that off. And this is a big, big piece that I've taken off of here. You don't need to probably take that big of a piece, but that it kind of came off, and 
So that's what I'm using. All right, and so then now you have your decorated hat. Super cute, right? Okay, so now you're going to take a piece of black. Um, I think I did that already. The black, yeah, black, and you're gonna cut your your cat. And you, we've got our broom, and we're gonna take a little piece of uh, Granny Apple Green um, at the end and and do our sentiment. But let's build up. Let's figure out where we're going to put our um, hat and our cat and our feet. And you can kind of do these feet any way you want. If you want them, like on this one, I put them like that. But maybe I'll put them a little differently on this one. And I have them popped up. So the first thing you have to do is uh, figure out how you're going to glue them to the hat. I think I want them to overlap just a little bit this time like that okay I like that and so then what I did was I put a little dot of glue they're not glued to the circle I'm gluing the hat to the feet okay okay so I'm gluing the hat to the feet because you do want to have you know room for your and you can move it around you want to have room for your cat okay so you're just kind of arranging things and you also want that spider okay so now I'm going to put a little dot of glue on the back of my cat just on his head and we'll glue the rest of it later. And I'm going to put that right there. Okay. Kind of see what this looks like on our uh, card. Okay. So we're going to go like this. And put the cat up in there. Okay, I want kind of like the hat to be at an angle. So I have this glue and it's allowing me to move things around a bit, see? And now I want to stamp the spider. So I'm gonna move this off again. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna ink this up first with some memento, okay? And then I'm going to think about where I want my hat and then I'm just gonna stamp the spider. Oh, missed. That's okay. Um, make sure you stamp it all the way down. And as you can see I missed it just a little bit and didn't didn't quite stamp it all the way down. So probably should have stamped first, right? Stamp first. That's kind of our golden rule. Oh, I didn't follow the rule. So now I'm going to put some glue on the back of the broom. And I'm going to put it on the back like that. Okay. And then I'm going to get some dimensionals. And I'm going to put them on my the back of my hat. And I'm going to use one on the two feet to kind of help that stay in place and one at the top of the hat and then I'm going to get some mini dimensionals and I'm going to put one on the bottom of the boot here and one on the bottom of this boot okay take the backs off Alright, and then we can place our hat and boots on here. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Okay, then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put some more dimensionals on it. I'm going to put a little mini one on the cat 
kind of the cat and the circle just to kind of hold those together a little bit and then uh, bef actually before I do that I want to put some glue dots with some black baker's twine okay so let's do that okay get my let's get my pick tool and I'm gonna just take a few little glue dots and put them on the back of the green circle to hold my baker's twine okay I might put one more and last time when I put my baker's twine I had it going this way I think this time I'm gonna try it going this way so I want it to go this way so so it's gonna go this way And you just take it and you double it around. Um, you just double it around. Stick it down to those glue dots. Put one. This glue dot's a little high, but I'm going to use it anyway. And then go back around this way. And then trim it off. So I started on the one side, I went up and looped, I looped, I came up and looped, and then I ended on the same side. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my dimensionals, and I'm going to put them so that they hold down a little bit uh, more of these, um, of the baker's twine. Okay, we'll pick those off, pick the backs of those off. Okay, I did that one already, and I'm not going to put it on the back of the broom. I want the broom to be kind of flowy and, um, you know, I don't want it on the back of that. So now I'm going to place this just like this. Okay, figure out where you want it, put it down, and then I'm going to um, take these loops and I'm going to cut them. And then you can come go back, and if you want, you can trim, um, trim them down. But I don't think I will. Okay. And now we're going to stamp our sentiment. So I'm going to get a piece of Granny Apple Green that's about three quarters of an inch uh, wide, and I'm going to get my Happy Halloween from my Cauldron Bubble stamp set, or you can get whatever sentiment you want and get my memento ink I'm gonna stamp uh, get my stamp and ink it up get it nice and inked up and then I'm just going to stamp it on there let's stamp it down here so I don't waste as much paper okay that's a little bit crooked so I'm gonna turn that over and try again <laughs> when you um, you know stamp crooked like that you can always turn it over and try again so that's a little bit better so then I'm going to take it and I'm just going to trim it like that and then I have this nice piece for another one and I'm going to trim this side just as well okay so now I have my happy Halloween and I am going to um, put uh, dimensionals on it And no one will be able to know that you have the messed up side. Okay. And then you just, I like it, liked it at an angle. So I put it at an angle. And then, of course, the last thing that I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to uh, put some glitter on these buckles. Because, you know, got to have glittery buckles. She's a fashion witch, right? So glitter on the buckles. And then the other thing that you can do is you can always um, put some embellishments on there. Some rhinestones or something. Um, so you can always go back and do that. 
absolutely you can always go back and do that I'm going to get rid of some of this glitter that I got elsewhere I don't want that on there that was from moving that around and there we have it super cute little Halloween um, card you could also get uh, some tiny rhinestones and make eyes for the cat and you could uh, put rhinestones elsewhere you could put them on her hat you could put them out around and about on the card um, super cute card I think I just love the way this came out I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video I hope you give yourself a, a try at making yourself a little witch hat card and send it to someone who loves Halloween I absolutely love Halloween so I'm glad that you came and joined me today and I hope you have enjoyed this do come back and see me and have a great rest of your day